in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best theme team and roster setup that you can use in Ultimate Team, or at least what I would say is the top two of the meta, and explain why team building is important and just kind of what I know about it. I'm not super great at MUT, I'm going to be honest, but I do want to share just kind of my recommendation for theme team, and I also want to share like why it's the best theme team in the long run uh, for the longevity of this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe. Also, if you want to learn any of my offenses or defenses that I run, we've got uh, uh, 10 offensive and defensive eBooks over at our Patreon available. Patreon members get access to all of the page of those eBooks. And the other cool part about that is we're dropping a brand new eBook next week for our 11th eBook of the year. And we're going to continue to drop more and more eBooks as the course of the season. So with that in mind, we're going to be uh, jumping into this little just kind of quick tutorial on how to build your ultimate team or just my favorite uh, my favorite uh, team right now. And that's the 40 out of 40 Legends theme team. Now, I do want to quickly say that if you want a secondary theme team that is really good, honestly, almost as good, if not, it's, it's really good. The Raiders theme team is kind of my second tier, like cheaper, more budget friendly. But the Legends theme team, why is the theme team so good? Number one, because EA is going to release a lot of Legends. They've actually done something rather interesting with this theme team. So it's not just Legend cards, right? It's actually Legend players, like just players that aren't playing currently in the NFL is kind of the, the base level, I think, of this application. So what, what do I mean by that? Well... Like Larry Fitzgerald, for example, he's not in the Legends program, but he's still technically a legend in the game, and he gets this chemistry, as you can see. So when you look at his attributes, we're only getting plus one speed, but we're getting plus one speed on a very relevant and new card. And the other reason why this is really important is because with a Legends theme team, they're going to consistently drop content that will apply to your theme team. Part of the problem with like the Raiders theme team, for example, is they don't always drop Raiders players. But literally every single week, we're going to at least, at the bare minimum, get three cards. I'm pretty sure, maybe even more than that. I want to say four. I think at the minimum is four cards every single week for this theme team going forward. So you're going to get the legend players, but you're also going to get like the team of the week players and stuff like that. So, you know, Herman Moore, obviously, you don't need, but the thing is, like, yes, this team is expensive. There's ways to do this where it's not as expensive. Um, you know, for example, let me just show you on my wide receiver. So like um, you, some of your second tier players, like Jerome Bettis here. So like, I'm actually gonna probably power him up, but I just wanted to show something about these power-ups. So these power-ups you see here for just five training, you can get them on the theme team and then you don't have to necessarily worry about powering them all the way up unless you have the coins and want to or if they're not going to play on your team, right? Uh, so you can see over here, same basic idea. So you can actually make, like with Ray Nitschke, he's not actually all the way powered up because I don't use him, right? Um, but if I was going to use him, obviously I'd want to go ahead and do that. The other thing that's really powerful um, about this theme team specifically is the Legends program is kind of a power-up base program and so you'll see that every legend is going to get these better abilities so like you see here that McAllister is going to get medium route KO for one whereas it's normally two AP so you're always going to have cards that are coming out not only are they going to be really good players but they're also going to get discounted abilities of some sort uh, on on these specifically these legends cards cards like Bruce Smith and Warren Sapp they're not technically uh, in this program, so I don't think that they get discounted abilities, but, you know, for example, like Champ Bailey, I'm pretty sure he gets a discounted ability. So you'll see here, it doesn't, it's not always going to be like the best ability. So like here he gets pick artist for one AP. That's not like crazy great this year by any means. Um, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying it's not like, you know, medium route KO is a top of the meta ability or inside shade is a top of the meta ability, right? But anyways, that's the idea behind it. So as you can see here, just like Mike Vrabel, another great example, like he doesn't play on my, on the team, 
but I have him in chemistry, essentially, just like you would in any other theme team that you're trying to build. Once you get to 40 out of 40 Legends theme team, they get plus one speed. That's basically the idea. We'll be interest I'm interested to see if this is only going to be 40 out of 40 all year long. Um, but for right now, I just think this is a really good theme team. And the main reason why I think it's I think what you got to look for, especially early on in the year when you're looking for a good theme team is you really need to make sure uh, or ideally you're going to have a theme team that's going to continue to get pieces week in and week out. And I think that's really the main thing that makes this such a powerful uh, theme team is the fact that they always are getting really, really good upgrades week in and week out. Right. So no matter what, you're like I said, guaranteed like four cards that are going to be, you know, pretty, pretty effective. OK, so anyways, 40 out of 40 legends. I think that's the way to go right now. Um, you know, something simple. And the other thing about the 40 out of 40 legends is there's also a ton of roster spots. Like as you see here, like most theme teams, there's not a lot of like flexibility with this theme team. There's a ton of flexibility. Right. Um, so you could go out and have a whole defensive line that's not legends if you wanted to or whatever you want to do with that so anyways uh just wanted to kind of put my thoughts out there on the best theme team if you guys want to learn um you see here i got the patriots offense chiefs defense right now currently uh but i've got a ton of ebooks out if you want to check out my ebooks make sure you check out them out on the patreon 10 bucks gets you access to everything obviously i don't have dave casper yet but uh, you know, I'm not like a super, I'm not super fanatical about my solo challenges for the defensive strategy for these strategy cards here. I just haven't bothered to buy them yet, but basically if you play man, you want the man, man card. If you play zone, you want the zone card more offense. I'm just trying to, I don't even know what to do on offense. To be honest, I think the route running card is probably the best, but anyways, that's kind of my thoughts on the best theme team right now, why it is so good. And I think everyone should be running the legends theme team.